Okay, in this video, we're going to cover how to categorize our income items within QuickBooks. We have already set up our custom chart of accounts. So many of the income accounts that we use have already been created. And I'm going to show you how you can create new income accounts on the fly as well. Um, some of this information we've kind of gone over briefly in the navigation video. So I'm just going to touch on some of those points briefly and then move on to the income categorizing. So as you can see, we're in a sample company on the dashboard screen. We have all of our accounts listed over here. And we can get to our accounts to categorize items by either selecting from the bank accounts over here. And then as you can see, that brings us down to the banking tab over here. We can also switch between accounts right up here. So we are going to be working in the checking account this time. QuickBooks has brought in all of our transactions automatically from our bank and put it in the for review tab. And our job is to categorize our transactions and add them into QuickBooks in the correct place. And then once we do that, they'll move from the for review tab to the in QuickBooks tab. You'll notice that our bank feed has two columns, a spent column and a received column. And of course, those are exactly what they say, the money we spent in one column, money we received in the other. So another term we could use would be our expenses and our revenues. So we're going to focus in this video on our revenues. And fortunately, we have several items we can work with here. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that some categories are in green and some categories are in black. The black are ones where we need to review and choose the correct category for. The green are memorized transactions, things that QuickBooks has seen us categorize similar deposits before. And so it's recommending where you would put those items. Now, oftentimes QuickBooks gets that right. However, sometimes QuickBooks gets that wrong because sometimes they can't tell. For example, in our, in our company here, we have many different types of deposits from Amazon. You can see that here. So, if they all went to the same category, QuickBooks would always be able to help us out. But you can see that QuickBooks is suggesting some of these in green, but this one they're confused about in black. So really we have to take a look at everything. Oftentimes they will get it right with green, especially if it's something that never changes or doesn't go in multiple places. But for instance, with Amazon, it goes in multiple places within our um, income accounts. But down here from Commission Junction, that always goes in the same place. So it usually gets that one right. Okay, so let's actually start. Let's start with some green items. Actually, you know what? Let's start with the black item because I want to show you um, the chart of accounts. So we're going to start with this one. And there's kind of a category given, but they're not sure because it's not in green. And in fact, it really is Amazon product sales. So it is correct, but let's pretend that it's not. And we're going to begin by adding a customer because you'll notice in here that this was blank um, for this item. So we're going to add Amazon as a customer. Click that green plus sign and customer. So just the type here, customer select for any items you receive from a person or a company. A vendor is anybody that you pay. So we're going to select customer because this is um, a receipt. We're going to hit save. And now that fills in for us. So now we come over here to the categories. 
And let me go through all the different categories, income categories um, that are set up. We've got Amazon product sales. We've got an Etsy sales account in this case. This is a account that was automatically brought in by QuickBooks. I don't, it's not used in our example company. We have blog income, which is broken out into affiliate income and services income. We have book sales income. Uh, consulting, miscellaneous, sales of products, more Etsy sales. This general services and down below here, this is everything that was automatically brought in by QuickBooks and is not used. But you can see in our example company, we have created many different income accounts to track the various ways that this business earns income. And you'll see how nice this is when I show you the reports, how each type of income you received is broken out on your reports because that's how we're categorizing everything. So let's say we are here and we actually want to create a new income account. We, there are several ways that we could do that. Let's pretend this Amazon is, let's pretend it's not Amazon and it's a particular type of affiliate revenue we want to track. We could leave this screen and we could go all the way back over to accounting and chart of accounts and create a new income account that way. The way I showed you when we were creating multiple new accounts and in customizing our chart of accounts. The other way we can do it is to simply click this add new button at the top of our categories list. This will bring up the familiar box and this was exactly how we were adding new accounts in the customizing chart of accounts video. I'm going to cancel that because there's a third way we could add it. Let's say I'm going to call this ABC affiliate. Let's say we want to track that certain type of affiliate income. So you can see QuickBooks is um, you type it in there and then they have that plus sign. We're going to click the plus sign and then we get brought to this same screen and they have filled in ABC affiliate. So as a blogger, you may definitely want to track all the different types of affiliate income that you receive or maybe from your main companies that you receive payment from. So that would be the, uh, it's an income type. QuickBooks knows that because we were in the income section. The detail type, other primary income. You can add a description if you want, and you can make it a sub account if you want. Um, since it's affiliate income, I might be tempted to put it under blog income as a, a different type of affiliate income, but that is completely up to you. So I just wanted to show you those additional ways that you can create accounts as you categorize to customize your bookkeeping to exactly what you want to see on your profit and loss statement. Okay, back to this screen. So we've added Amazon as the customer that we received the payment from. And in fact, it is Amazon product sales. So we're going to click on that and then click add. And now you'll see that item has moved off of our for review tab and it will now be in the in QuickBooks tab. Now let's tackle some of these green income items. We're going to focus on some of these other Amazon ones. If we wanted to continue adding the customer, we can certainly do that. And since we've already added Amazon as a customer, it's appearing once we start typing. And let's see, book sales, Amazon book sales. That is correct. We're going to add that. Now, since this is in green, well, even if it was in black, if it was correct, since this one, we're going to keep moving down the line, this one is also correct. Um, $2 Amazon book sales. We don't even have to click on it. 
we can simply hit add. And now that uh, disappears before our eyes. Same with this one. If we agree that this is the correct category that we would like this income to go to, and here I'll show you where that appears on the chart of accounts here, Amazon book sales, income item, sub account of book sales. We didn't even have to click in there. We could just simply add. And that leads me to another point. If you have many items that are green, that are in the right spot, let's say you've gone through your whole list and everything looks good, you could take advantage of batch actions. You could select everything and accept all. You could select everything and modify. So let's say that, let me think of an example. Let's say we wanted to change all of these Etsy deposits. Maybe they got it wrong that it, it shouldn't go to this account, but all three should go somewhere else. We could select modify selected, select the payee if we wanted, or the customer, I guess, and select our category and it would apply to all of those that we've selected. So that can come in handy. Let's take a look at this one. I have yet to add a customer to this one, so I'm going to go ahead and add a customer. Customer, save. I could change the category if I wanted. I'm actually fine with this category. It's affiliate income. I'm going to go ahead and click add. So you could see how a month's worth of transactions, once QuickBooks start to, starts to memorize where you put them, could be as simple as just running down the list and saying, add, 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 add. And then before you know it, all of your deposits and revenue are accounted for within QuickBooks for the month. So that's all there is to the income side of things. We'll talk about the expense side of things in a different video but basically with your income categorizing just go down the list of your income the money that you've received code it to where it makes sense to you put it in a category that helps you to understand your business and your business bookkeeping add additional categories as you go or not as you choose add customers as you go if you choose and QuickBooks will also start to memorize your customers and vendors as well. So that is, once again, a great feature. So that's all for the income video. And go ahead and head to the expense video next.